Now, that was the sports. Over the weekend in Lagos, uh, the city hosted a festival to celebrate the 5th International Jazz Day. The festival's organizers are hoping that Nigeria can take on South Africa as the continent's center of jazz. Nigeria has produced some of Africa's best jazz musicians. But what is the scene in Nigeria like now? Some of those who performed over the weekend gave us a flavor of what jazz means to Nigeria. The energy that I imagined uh, that I would feel in Nigeria, it, it's, it's exponentially greater. And you understand why the music sounds like it does uh, when you get to meet the people. My name is Kirk Wailum. In Africa, it's Kirk Wailum. Wailum, yes. And so uh, I am today Kirk Wailum. That conviction is what is what you get from African music. There's there's a there's a something deep. You know, you hear people talk about get down. You got to get down. African music is about going low. It's about the more intense you get, the more the deeper, the, the, the more low you get. All the tools that we use in, in jazz and R&B, they, they're African. But then we, we now come here and we hear elements that we recognize from our side. So it's, it, you know, one side influences the other and it's this ping pong game. What do we term as jazz? It's a potpourri of different blends of music coming together to form a fusion of harmony. Today, I'll be a musician. Ordinarily, I'm a politician and also an entrepreneur. What is the scene like? I would probably say that we are an evolving music industry. The jazz scene here has some local flavor to it. Disco and all that music that we call pop music, it's all rooted in Africa. The conviction of gospel music, uh, of, of real soul music, it, it's, it's not superfluous, you know. It's like this song is meant, I want you to feel me. There's a, there's a different affinity for music here. It's, it's a different connection. You just got to love jazz, don't you? That's it from Focus in Africa. Thanks for watching. Good night.